Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trey back again here bringing another video. So this time we're going to be doing the video of Anderson Silva versus Chael Sonnen. The rematch number two. Uh, we don't know exactly the date. Uh, Chael, you know, laid out the challenge for Anderson um, for Super Bowl weekend, but we know that's not going to happen because that's going to be the GSP Nick Diaz card. So I guarantee they're probably not going to put both uh, GSP and Anderson on the same card. That would be kind of stupid because uh, they're both such huge draws they should have their own pay-per-view separate um, so I doubt that that'll be there and I think also that uh, Anderson has to get shoulder surgery I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if he's already done that or anyway that's gonna take some time to do that so we'll probably realistically be seeing this fight happen in maybe um, I don't know February March uh, April ish sometime between there probably March most likely uh, and it's not official yet either uh, we don't we don't know for sure but Vitor Belfort has a fight and I don't think many people want to see him fight Anderson again, you know, based on what happened last time. Me, me and myself, I'm not interested to see Vitor versus Anderson right now. I want to see Vitor versus Kung Lee, or I want to see, you know, Kung Lee versus, you know, probably Chael or one of these top guys, just to see how he, he would do. And uh, and just, I, I don't feel right about Vitor f uh, facing Anderson again right away. It's just, to me, it's like, no, you know, not yet, not yet. Give him some more time. If he wins a couple more fights, then give him Anderson again. But right now, Chael Sonnen is the only guy. Um, you know, Ed Soros has said, you know, you know, you lost, uh, go to the back of the line, wait your turn again, you know, this kind of stuff. That's unfair to say. I mean, Brian Stan was the next up-and-coming guy. He was the guy to be, you know, one of the best in uh, middleweight. And Chael beat him bad. You know, he completely owned him, basically. I mean, you guys saw the fight, took him down. Had an arm choke, um, took him out second round, you know, took almost no damage, maybe eight, one or two punches, big punches from him, but then ended the fight very quickly. Um, that being said, how do I think the Chael will fare against Anderson this time, and how do you guys think uh, it's going to go this time? So we know we're going to see it happen, probably going to be in March or, or something along those lines. Um, Will it be different from the first fight? That's the big question. Now, the thing was, was in the first fight, Anderson was injured. He had a broken rib. That's a big deal. You know, if you've got a broken, you know, broken rib or bro any broken anything, then you're going into a fight to fight. Um, that's going to be bad, especially if a guy, you know, your ribs are kind of like an area that people throw body shots, you know, especially while you're on the ground. That's going to freaking kill. Like, can you imagine, like, you know, they say body, body, head, body, body, head. When Chael takes him down and is on top of him, body, body, head. Two of those are in the rib cage, or close to it somewhere. <laughs> you know, that must have been terrible. And to think that this guy pulled out a victory, you know, in the, f the fifth round with only like a couple minutes, that was just amazing. Um, do I think he can repeat it? I mean, this is really tough to say. I think that if if Chael beats Anderson, we know at this point that Anderson's career, it's time to you know start considering retirement uh, for him because I think that a healthy Anderson who is 100% ready to go, will beat any Chael Sonnen we've ever seen. Um, I mean, I just I just feel that way. I feel like the last fight, you know, Chael's performance looked amazing, but again, he was on performance-enhancing drugs. We know that. There's no question about that. And he probably still is on them, even though, you know, that's kind of a gray area in and of itself. I personally think that athletes should not be able to take any hormonal um, substances whatsoever. Sorry, Dan Henderson. Sorry, all you guys for getting older, you know, and are taking, you know, um, Andro or whatever whatever you're taking, you shouldn't be allowed to take any of that stuff. I mean any of it. It should be all illegal. You should fight naturally and that's all there is to it. I don't care if your levels are lower than somebody else's. I don't give a shit about that stuff. Um, you know, taking that kind of stuff is just out of the question in my opinion. Um, so obviously we've seen Chael Sonnen grow as a fighter in the last couple of years, you know, in the last uh, year since he fought Anderson. I mean, he he's really, you know, He's really hard to beat. I mean, you got to be able to against Chael. You either have to have good enough jujitsu to submit him when he takes you down, or you got to try to keep it standing, which pretty much nobody's been able to do. Nobody has been able to keep a fight standing against Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen is like the master of takedowns. He's probably he's like the Brock Lesnar of the um, middleweight division. The only difference is he's even better. You know, um, he just takes guys down in the round. The time just goes, um, and that's just how it is. So. Coming up on, on these two, who do I think is going to be in, uh, you know, who's going to take this fight? I mean, this is a good one, guys. Let me know what you guys think. This is the biggest rematch in the UFC history, in my opinion, seeing as how Chael is the only guy that's been able to touch Anderson. And he almost beat him. He was so close. I know Chael thinks this time, probably, that, you know, this is his time. But I really feel this way, guys. If Chael can't finish the fight and submit Anderson, he's going to lose. Um, you know, an Anderson with a broken rib and getting body shot at all day. Anderson does not quit. He he doesn't even know the meaning of quit. 
he's got to get submitted. He's got to get he's got to get Anderson into a position like the head and arm choke, which is probably perfect for him, where Anderson's either going to go to sleep or he's going to tap, and then he'll be forced to. He won't have any other choice. Um, but you know, if anything, if Anderson has anything to say about it, you know, he's not going to give up. Chael has to finish this fight by a submission, in my opinion. That's all there is to it. He has to submit Anderson Silva. If he tries to win a decision against Anderson, it's not going to work. 25 minutes uh, in Anderson's guard is too long. I don't care how much you practice your jiu-jitsu. You're going to get submitted. That's all there is to it. If you stand with Anderson, he's going to knock you out. That's all there is to it. Uh, Chael looked really good in the last fight, but I feel like a lot of that was just Anderson being uh, injured and maybe you know not expecting a lot of a lot of what was going on. But this time, i got to say that I think Anderson Silva is going to beat Chael Sonnen again, and he's going to beat him worse this time. I think he'll either knock him out in the first you know, two rounds or he's going to submit Chael. I really don't think Chael's going to do as well as he did last time. No matter how much he trains, no matter what he does, you know, Anderson's just, he's just a natural fighter, man. He's got everything in him. You know, the jiu-jitsu, the, he's the best striker. He's the best striker we've ever seen in MMA. For his weight class and what he does to guys, he's the best striker we've ever seen. Um, his skills are just legendary, and uh, in this fight, I gotta go with I gotta go with Anderson, guys. That's all there is to it. I mean, I think uh, Chael's got a really good chance of beating him. I'd say probably 40 percent, but I gotta go 60-40 for uh, for Anderson. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this should be a huge match, and do you think Chael's got what it takes this time to beat him? I don't. Later, guys. Peace.